From Assembly District 21, Susan Quelo Matos, escorted by Assemblymember Gray. Ms. Susan Quelo Matos is a leader in the community and a voice for advancing Stanislaus and Merced counties in the areas of children, healthcare, education, and communication. She continues to make her mark in the community with her advocacy and dedication. Susan has been with Matos Newspaper since 1979, where she serves as the president, publisher, and owner. From Assembly District 43, Evan Kleiman, escorted by Assemblymember Gatto. Evan Kleiman is a chef, restaurateur, host of KCRW's Good Food, and most importantly, author of eight Italian cookbooks. Her interests include issues of food policy and agroecology. She serves on the Stewardship Council for Roots of Change and is a member of the Los Angeles Food Policy Council. From Assembly District 6, Dr. Sheila Sinunson Titus Gall, escorted by Assemblymember Gaines. Dr. Sinunson Titus Gall has served the constituents of District 6 for over 30 years at the El Dorado Hills Optometric Center. Her impressive resume includes service as the first honorary mayor of El Dorado Hills and a term as vice president of the California State Board of Optometry. From Assembly District 7, Stephanie Nguyen, escorted by Assemblymember McCarty. Stephanie Nguyen is the Executive Director for Asian Resources Incorporated. Her dedication and passion for our community goes far beyond her everyday duties as Executive Director. We are lucky to have her as a friend, advocate, and leader. From Assembly District 8, Mona Foster, escorted by Assemblymember Christina Garcia. Mona Foster has dedicated her life to the service of others. When Mona retired from the State Council on Developmental Disabilities, she worked tirelessly to ensure that people with developmental disabilities and their families received the services and support they needed. Mona has also been an effective advocate and leader for the Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander communities for over 44 years. From Assembly District 9, Charlene Lang, escorted by Assemblymember Cooper. Charlene Lang is co-owner of Lang Twins Family Winery and Vineyard. She also worked 26 years as Lodi's Community Center Director. Lang started and completed numerous projects with the City of Lodi, ranging from volunteer programs to securing a $10 million loan from the Performing Arts and Conference Center. In her tenure with the city, Lang oversaw the construction of the $28 million Hutchins Street Square and started numerous commissions and groups.
From Assembly District 10, Kathy Powell, escorted by Assemblymember Levine. Kathy Powell is the CEO of the Petaluma Health Center, a nationally recognized, federally qualified health center serving 30,000 people. Kathy is a trailblazing leader committed to innovative solutions and dedicated to ensuring every person in Southern Sonoma County has access to affordable, high quality health care services. From Assembly District 11, Gloria Martin, escorted by Assemblymember Frazier. Lifelong Antioch resident and longtime community volunteer, Gloria Martin, was Antioch's Citizen of the Year in 2012. She quietly gives back to her community through philanthropic support of the Martin Family Foundation and countless volunteer hours of service to organizations throughout East County, supported by her children, Jim Jr. and Marlene. From Assembly District 12, Tammy Breck Dunbar, escorted by Assemblymember Olson. Tammy Breck Dunbar is a 16 year teaching veteran who has inspired students and kindergartners to graduate school from Manteca to Malaysia. Through her classes, blogs, presentations, and training sessions, Dunbar helps learners realize that mistakes don't define us, but how we approach them does. From Assembly District 13, Angie Guzman, escorted by Assemblymember Eggman. Angie endured great hardship at a young age, inspiring her drive to serve others. She has taught adult literacy courses and volunteered for various local nonprofits while raising three children and building a 22 year career in hospitality. For her lifelong commitment of service to our community, we honor her today. From Assembly District 14, Colette Carroll, escorted by Assemblymember Bonilla. Colette Carroll is President and Executive Director of California Reentry Institute, a nonprofit that prepares and supports men through the transition from prison to freedom. Her program, Run Inside San Quentin State Prison, has a zero recidivism rate. The men inside send their congratulations and heartfelt thanks for her dedication, passion, and commitment. From Assembly District 15, Tootie Mayer, escorted by Assemblymember Thurmond. Tootie Mayer, Executive Director of Pogo Park, a community-based nonprofit in Richmond, works with a team of local residents from Richmond's Iron Triangle neighborhood to transform abandoned neighborhood parks into safe and vibrant public spaces for children to play. Pogo Park has redesigned and rebuilt two city parks. Last year, the Pogo Parks recorded 15,000 visitors. From Assembly District 16, Anna Tag, escorted by Assemblymember Baker. Anna Tag, a Norinda resident, has dedicated more than 19 years in volunteering in her community. Anna's biggest contribution has been the establishment of POISE, parents of Arinda individuals in special education. POISE provides support, information, and mentorship for families with special needs. 
The establishment of poise came when Anna's daughter, Nicole, was diagnosed with Fleen McDermott syndrome, a rare genetic chromosome deletion syndrome affecting approximately 1,300 people worldwide. From Assembly District 17, Yolanda M. Jackson, escorted by Speaker Emeritus Atkins. Since 2014, Yolanda M. Jackson has served as the Executive Director of the Bar Association of San Francisco and the Executive Director of the Justice and Diversity Center. She has been a tireless advocate for diversity in the legal profession and is committed to fighting for equal access to justice. From Assembly District 18, Sandra Andrews, escorted by Assemblymember Bonta. Sandra Andrews has a decades-long public service career as a volunteer in the office of then-State Senator Barbara Lee and then as a key staffer for Congresswoman Lee. Through her decades of service to the East Bay, she connected people with critical services and increased access to government. From Assembly District 19, Kathy Mulkey Meyer, escorted by Assemblymember Ting. Community leader Kathy Mulkey Meyer trains and mentors parents at 64 schools in San Francisco as the president of the Second District PTA of California and serves on the California PTA Community Concerns Commission. She also distributes community grants and coordinates a health fair in her San Francisco neighborhood. From Assembly District 20, Pat Gakoskas, escorted by Assemblymember Quirk. Ms. Pat Gakoskas, a retired research analyst for the Department of Public Health and former teacher in Manila, led efforts to create and expand the thriving Sister Cities organization. She served as a school board member, board director of the Union City Sanitary District, and as a Union City Council member. From Assembly District 22, Michelle Vilchez, escorted by Assemblymember Mullen. Michelle rose to the position of Executive Director for the Peninsula Conflict Resolution Center after working various positions in community engagement. As the largest provider of community-based conflict management and prevention services in San Mateo County, the Peninsula Conflict Resolution Center has served individuals, groups, and organizations for 30 years. From Assembly District 23, Christy Burkhart, escorted by Assemblymember Patterson. Christy Burkhart is the Executive Director of Pregnancy Care Center Fresno. She is a dedicated advocate for mothers facing an unexpected pregnancy and a champion for babies who might not have had the chance at the lives they are living today. Christy loves working in her community. Her heart and passion is for serving women, families, and youth in the hopes of building a culture of life. From Assembly District 24, Patricia Foster, escorted by Assemblymember Gordon. 
Patricia Foster has been a community empowerment advocate for East Palo Alto for more than 35 years. She is the founder of Girls to Women. Patricia has served as the city's mayor and works tirelessly to help the vulnerable and marginalized improve their lives. From Assembly District 25, Teresa D. Cox, escorted by Assemblymember Canton Chu. Teresa D. Cox, daughter of school teachers, was orphaned at a young age and overcame life's obstacles and broke down numerous barriers to dedicate her life to improving the community around her. Teresa made national headlines as the first African American woman in the nation to earn a degree in nuclear engineering. Her passion is education and she currently serves on the Olone Community College Board of Trustees. Teresa is a proud and dedicated mother of two school age children. From Assembly District 26, Gail Zurich, escorted by Assemblymember Mathis. Gail Zurich, President and CEO of the Visalia Chamber of Commerce, has nearly 20 years of experience leading organizations to connect and better serve their customers and clients. Gail oversaw the Better Business Bureau for three counties while living in Indiana. Gail is passionate about her role that Visalia Chamber plays in serving their members to better strengthen their communities. From Assembly District 27, Dr. Hilaria Bauer, escorted by Assemblymember Campos. As superintendent, Dr. Bauer has focused her priorities on those expressed by the parents and stakeholders of the Alum Rock community. She has worked on raising academic performance of all students across the district, improving the performance of the district's middle schools to build students better bridges to high school, and improving institutional support for the district's sizable percentage of English language learners. From Assembly District 28, Mary Mabin, escorted by Assemblymember Lowe. Mary Mabin has dedicated her career to public service. She was an educator working with at-risk youth and a longtime district director for Congressman Mike Honda. Mary currently works at the Silicon Valley Education Foundation, where she is fulfilling her passion for developing the hearts and minds of young people. From Assembly District 29, Ann Todd Jealous, escorted by Assemblymember Stone. Mrs. Ann Todd Jealous is a longtime civil rights activist, teacher, therapist, and co author of Combined Destinies White Sharing Grief About Racism. She dedicates her time to conflict resolution and diversity training at the National Coalition Building Institute and the Village Project Incorporated, a nonprofit Afrocentric counseling center based in Seaside. From Assembly District 30, Maria Luisa Covarrubias, escorted by Assemblymember Alejo. Maria Luisa Covarrubias is the mother of Assemblymember Luis Alejo and has been a community advocate throughout her career. She was a former champion farm worker who became a registered nurse and was a proud union member of SEIU. She continues to volunteer with groups like Camino Del Arte and East Salinas and the Watsonville Senior Center.
From Assembly District 32, Dr. Sonia Christian, escorted by Assemblymember Salas, Dr. Sonia Christian in 2013 became the 10th president of Bakersfield College. Under her leadership, the college has undergone a renaissance with booming enrollment, a community excitement, and student success. Dr. Christian has re-energized the campus and community of Bakersfield College and positioned the college as a state and national leader. From Assembly District 33, Rosalie Mass Taylor, escorted by Assemblymember Obernolte. Rosalie Mass Taylor co founded A Penny a Kiss, a tribute band to the 1940s. They have performed for hundreds of veterans with songs straight from the USO playlist. Her son was injured in a tragic accident, losing his left foot. Rosalie now uses this as a platform to advocate for resources for amputees and veterans. From Assembly District 34, Diana Cisneros, escorted by Assemblymember Grove. Diana Cisneros is a human trafficking trainer for the Kern Coalition Against Human Trafficking in Bakersfield. Starting at the age of seven and into her early teens, Diana was a victim to the brutal and inhuman world of trafficking. She is passionate about her faith and believes that God granted her strength and pushed her towards a healing path. Diana's main goal is to see at-risk youth become equipped with the necessary tools to prevent and address trafficking in the Central Valley. Diana is also a proud wife and mother of a beautiful little girl. From Assembly District 36, Mary Reyna, escorted by Assemblyman Merritt Lackey. As a registered nurse for over 30 years, Mary is currently the director of the Forensic Services Unit at the Antelope Valley Hospital. Among her many accomplishments, she teaches a forensic nursing course at UC Riverside and advocates for the prevention of violence in the health care and justice system. From Assembly District 37, Linda Kropp, escorted by Assemblymember Williams. Linda Kropp is the Chief Counsel of the Environmental Defense Center, a public interest environmental law firm serving California's South Central Coast. Linda has practiced environmental law at EDC since 1989 and specializes in cases focused on the protection of coastal, open space, and natural resources, as well as offshore oil and gas development. Linda teaches environmental law at the University of California at Santa Barbara. From Assembly District 38, Tammy Edwards, escorted by Assemblymember Wilk. Tammy was born and raised in the Santa Clarita Valley and devotes much of her time and energy to her community. She has volunteered with community groups such as Circle of Hope, Hart School District Advisory Committee, and the SCV Chamber of Commerce. Tammy and her husband, Jason, have four children. From Assembly District 39, Dana Stangel, escorted by Assemblymember Lopez. Dana is a wife and mother of three from Sunland. 
She founded the nonprofit Tarango Ranch and serves as its executive director. She has been actively involved with many worthy organizations, including the Wildlife Way Station, the International Moms Club, and the Sunland Tahunga Neighborhood Council. From Assembly District 40, Heidi Mayer, escorted by Assemblymember Steinorth. Heidi Mayer established the Youth Hope Foundation in the city of Redlands. Youth Hope serves the unaccompanied homeless and runway youth. It began as a grassroots organization delivering peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, socks, and hygiene items to homeless youth on the streets of Redlands. Today, Youth Hope serves over 900 homeless youth. From Assembly District 44, Jerry L. Williams, escorted by Assemblymember Irwin. Chief Jerry Williams has been in command of the Oxnard Police Department since January 2011 and is the city's first female chief of police. She has been in law enforcement for more than 27 years. In her role as chief, she leads 400 employees and oversees a $50 million budget. From Assembly District 45, Rebecca, Rebecca Gray Grossman, escorted by Assemblymember de Bobne. In 2006, Rebecca Gray Grossman and her husband, Dr. Peter Grossman, established the Grossman Burn Foundation to promote effective, sustainable partnership solutions for the treatment, care, and support of burn survivors and their families in the United States and around the world. Rebecca currently serves as chair and has worked extensively in the healthcare field for over a decade as a researcher, journalist, and marketing executive. From Assembly District 46, Judy Price, escorted by Assemblymember Nazarian. Judy Price currently serves on the Greater Valley Glen Neighborhood Council and chairperson of the Government Relations Committee. She is a past president of the GVGC and former chairperson of the Planning and Land Use Committee. Judy is the founder and chairperson of the VGNA's Adopt a Family Program, established in 2001 to help families who are caught in a cycle of poverty. Working with the local public schools, the program has served over 150 families through donations from Valley Glen residents and businesses. 